Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Lones coming at you today with another Madden 18 video and we're gonna be doing a pack opening today. Um, so this is actually a voiceover. This is a pre-recorded pack opening and I completely screwed it up. I went to edit this and realized that my audio was messed up. Um, I had been recording for something else and changed my audio settings out and forgot to change them back. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna open up a launch bundle. Uh, it comes with 20 launch packs, one Madden at Midnight topper, which guarantees an 84 plus elite. And I've, I've seen other people open these bundles and um, seen what they've got out of them. And these packs have been absolute fire. And we'll just say that this bundle was no different. Uh, we got some pretty good pulls. Starting off with our first one, Jamie Collins Sr. 85 overall left outside linebacker. Um, this will add to my already pretty, I would say it's a decently stacked linebacking core that I currently have. I have Willie McGinnis, Ray Lewis and um, Bruce Irvin. So the Willie McGinnis legend that I have isn't one of the higher ones, so I'll probably take him out, put Jamie Collins in there as a replacement. Um, so that'll help out there. There's also a Jabril Peppers uh, right next to him. Uh, it's not a great pull, but it's decent. And there we get another elite, 82 overall Alan Barber. So that'll help out our line. I think he ends up being in the line at the end. And we'll finish it off with a Hassan Reddick. On to our third pack, and we started off with a kicker, Robbie Gold. And for those of you that don't know, kickers are going for a ton this year in Mutt for some reason. Um, well, not for some reason. The kickers actually aren't that great, so the better the kickers, the more important they are to your team. Continuing on, and in this pack, we get a whole lot of nothing. A bunch of golds. So what, at the time of opening this, there was two limited time pulls available in packs. Uh, there was Tony Gonzalez and Brian Erlacher. We will have to see if we get one. And hopefully we get another Elite Flash here. It's been a few packs without an Elite. And we get a bunch of golds. And actually that 77 Jordan Poy right there. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, I played against Jordan Poyer in high school um, in baseball and football. So kind of cool to see him in the game. And there we go. We get another elite 81 right end Mario Edwards Jr. And he will end up, I believe, starting on my defensive line. Can we keep it going with another elite? And we cannot. We ended up with four elites in that pack, which these packs, I'm, I believe, guarantee four or four elites, four golds. I believe they guarantee four golds. And we get another elite, 80 overall Taylor Gabriel. And another one, two elites in one pack, 81 overall Timmy Jernigan. And he does end up starting, and Taylor Gabriel, I believe, ends up going into my slot receiver position. And there it is. This is 87 overall center Rodney Hudson, who definitely ends up making the team. That's one of the best centers in the game. Really good pull right there. On to our next pack. Can we keep the elite pulls coming? We get couple silvers there and another elite 80 overall William Hayes and I believe that is the second right end that we've gotten out of this video and we end up with nothing out of that pack should only have a few packs left but can we pull those limited time Tony Gonzalez or Brian or lackers that is really what we're after and we end up with a bunch of golds. We get a 79 Jermaine Curse. Another Alan Barber. That's crazy that Jermaine Curse is 79 overall. Um, I've, I've been a Seahawks fan my entire life. And I've seen Jermaine Curse for quite a while. And know that he is not the best receiver in the league. So 79 is pretty generous and we end up with 82 overall Alex Smith and he ends up starting for me unfortunately 82 overall is the highest quarterback that I have uh, he ends up replacing 
Ryan Tannehill, who was an 81 overall. We get 77 Eli Apple, which is not a bad corner to get. So we should be closing in on the end of the packs. And an 80 overall, Tory Smith. We get a Case Keenum out of this pack. An 81, Tyrell Williams. We've gotten quite a few receivers out of this pack opening so far, which is good. I did not have very good receivers at all. So this will be our final launch pack. Can we get limited time Tony Gonzalez or limited time Brian Urlacher? We'll start off with Alden Smith, which I didn't even know he was still in the league. Uh, we go over to Terrence Fade, Fetty, uh, Corey Robinson, Desmond Bryant, Donovan Smith, and our last card will not be a limited time. It is 70 overall center, Patrick Lewis. So here it is. Our Madden at Midnight Topper, guaranteed 84 plus elite. And the way they do this is you get three cards out of this pack and you get to choose one of them. So our first card will be 82 left end Reggie White. And I'm not sure that I've seen a legend pull out of any of these packs. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. And then we get 86 Logan Ryan. And that is definitely going to be my choice. Ended off with 82 center Justin Britt. I really want to go with the legend, but I know that Logan Ryan's easily the right pick. Uh, my corners are trash, so he is going to help out quite a bit. So we'll compare him to what we currently have. We have Nikel Roby Coleman and is our starting corner. And Nikel Roby Coleman's a little faster, but Logan Ryan has way better stats than him on everything else. So we'll go through, we'll open up a few of these single launch packs. I've got some leftover coins. Uh, we should be able to get eight of these and see what we get out of these. We get a Josh Walker, Darren Lee, Danny Vital, Vitali. We get a 80 overall Brad Wing. Um, so initially I thought punters were going for a lot too. Uh, but it turns out Brad Wing was not going for very many coins. We get a Victor Cruz and John Kondo to end off that pack. Okay, so we had enough for seven. I forgot I bought one of these uh, before I started the video. We'll start it off with 77 Michael Schofield, uh, Tanzel Smart, Marcus Sleek, Jordan Jenkins, Josh Wells, and Pace Murphy. Five packs left. Hopefully we'll get something good out of these. Aldrick Robinson, Ryan Matthews, who I believe will be getting dropped soon, uh, Rashad Hegman, uh, Marvin's Jones Jr., and Nolan Freeze. Moving on here to our fourth pack left. I started off with Kevin Johnson, Gino Gris Grissom, Ethan Westbrooks, TJ Carey, Sean Robinson and Dion Bush. Still looking for those limited time pulls. Can we get Tony Gonzalez or Brian Urlacher? We get a Bobby Massey. Cooper Cup, which is actually kind of a cool thing. Um, I'm from Washington State and Cooper Cup went to Eastern Washington University, which is a super small school in Washington. Uh, so it's really cool to see somebody that was that highly scouted from such a small school over here. And he'll be playing against the Seahawks, so I'll get to see him twice a year. So two packs left. Still looking for Tony Gonzalez and Brian Urlacher. Jonathan Stewart. Then we get an 80 overall Jeremy Hill, who will probably not see very much playtime this year from what I understand. Uh, we'll get Spencer Drango, Michael Schofield again, and James Burgess. I was kind of stuck there for a while trying to figure out how to pronounce that guy's name, but I couldn't figure it out. So here's our last pack. Tony Gonzalez, Brian Urlacher. Can we get him? 
The last chance. We get Kevin Byard. Byard? Uh, John Jalapio. We get 81 Anthony Brown. So that's going to be our second best corner on the team. He will go right into the starting lineup. Uh, Montravius Adams, Paul Kruger, and the last card of this pack. And it will not be an elite. We're ended up with Colby Listenby. That is a sweet hairdo. So here's what we ended up with for elites. Uh, we got 15 elites total, and I believe we ripped 27 packs plus a topper. Uh, so that's actually pretty good odds of getting an elite there. And I went ahead and checked the Brad Wing price, and it was not anywhere near where I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I just went ahead, threw him in the lineup. I'm going to keep him, uh, even though I probably will never punt. Yeah, we'll throw him in there just for fun. Uh, but anyway, we ended up with Logan Ryan, Tyrell Williams, Rodney Hudson, our best pull of the day. Um, William Hayes, Alan Barber, who we ended up pulling twice. Alex Smith, who's going to be the starting quarterback. Torrey Smith, Timmy Jernigan, uh, Taylor Gabriel, Mario Edwards Jr., our second Alan Barber, and Jamie Collins Sr., who will also work his way into our starting lineup. So overall, these packs were pretty fire. Uh, we ended up with one high overall pick, or pull, excuse me, and uh, actually two. We ended up with two pretty high overall pulls. Uh, so I would definitely recommend buying these packs. That's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And down in the comment section, let me know who your best pull has been so far this year. And also make sure you follow me on social media. I'll have that link down in the description below. Thanks for watching.